Hi, for this video, what I want to do is talk to you about the branches of statistics. There are two branches. The first is the descriptive branch, and the second is the inferential branch of statistics. For anyone that is my student uh, this semester, you guys will be starting with the descriptive branch of statistics, and you will be ending with the inferential branch of statistics. The descriptive branch branch is anything that involves organizing, summarizing, and displaying data. So this could be tables, charts, averages, spreadsheets. If you have any kinds of graphical displays, all of those would represent the descriptive branch of statistics. Okay, the inferential branch involves using your sample data to draw conclusions about a larger population. So, for example, you might have done a study where you're asking people how they're going to vote in the next election, and you might take a sample of a thousand people and ask them how they're going to vote. And then after you've asked those 1,000 people, you might take the statement and apply it to the larger population. And so let's say, for example, your um, sample said that 300 people out of the 1,000 or 30% were going to vote for candidate A, then you could say, oh, approximately 30% of the population will be voting for candidate A. With inferential statistics, it is really important that the sample that you draw is representative of your entire population because you cannot make a generalization about something that does not pertain to your specific population. So for example, if in that study, the thousand people that I asked all happen to be Republicans, well, that's not going to be representative of the entire population. So you do have to be careful with those conclusions. Okay, so another example might be in your descriptive branch, you might be deciding to study the migrational tendency of black bears in a certain state in the United States. Um, well, whichever state you're studying those black bears in, let's say maybe it was Florida, um, if you were studying black bears in Florida and you were looking at how far they migrate and um, looking at different patterns or behaviors about them, you would write up your descriptive branch. Your inferential branch, you could only apply it to that specific state. So if you were looking at black bears in Florida, you could only um, make an inference about black bears in Florida. You couldn't make an inference about black bears that live in a different region. All right, so let's look at this question, decide which part of this study represents the descriptive branch and which, um, what conclusions might be drawn from the study using inferential statistics. So a large sample of men aged 48 was studied for 18 years. For unmarried men, approximately 70% were alive at age 65. And for married men, approximately 90% or 90 were still alive at age 65. Um, and then we have a display of that information. So for the unmarried men, they did only use a single person. And for the married, you can see that they have a bride. So you can visually see what you're comparing. Okay, so the descriptive branch would be the percentages. So the percent still alive and the graphic display. Okay, so our graph and the 70% 90% of each of our groups would be our descriptive branch of statistics. Your inferential branch, what you're going to do is you're going to try to make an inference about the population. So in this case, our population would be men. Okay, so we studied a large sample of men, so our overall population would be men. And so a possible inference might be that men who are married tend to live longer than men who are unmarried. Okay, so a lot of times what we do is we will study a specific situation and then we will try to make a conclusion about the general population. And the reason we do that is a lot of times a population is very difficult to study, so it's really hard to study all men. Um, so it's much easier to f take a large sample. So the large sample, the size really doesn't matter as long as it's representative. Um, most of the time when they say large sample, they're probably talking about in the thousands. 
Um, but it is very important that whatever you are trying to study, so if you were specifically trying to study men in Europe, then you would want to make sure that you use European men. If you are specifically trying to make the study for the entire world, then you would want to make sure that you studied men from around the world. So that's really important that you understand your population and what your sample needs to be to um, do inferential statistics correctly. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics you need me to cover, please let me know that as well.